Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV, and this is the channel that plays everything, so you don't have to. Today we are going to play Botany Manor. Uh, all I know about this game is it's about flowers, and we're in a manor. And I'm going to go and, uh, I'm going to grow flowers, okay? And you guys are going to watch. Let's get into it. 1890, Botany Manor, Summer Rest. Or, Somerset. Mess that up. Oh, wow. I oh, just got right into it. Oh, that a cactus? We got a cactus. Okay, let's see what we got to do here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Nice little greenhouse. Oh, got paper. Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. I hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated. Though I can assure you, we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today. Bennett. Okay. What's this? Collect the parcel. A Bella Green. Oh, that's cool. Nice little animation. Forgotten Flora. An herbarium by Arabella Green. Open her up. Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium uh, back to us once you have completed your research and will be in touch with a potential offer. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. I like how it's all got the flower stuff going on in green. All right. Forgotten Flora, researched and compiled by Arabella Green. Maps, chapter one, fresh start. What kind of maps we got here? Browns. Oh, this must be the manor. Nice. We gotta fill this bad boy up. We got some stained glass windows. Look at those things. Okay. Let's get this book filled up. Sure is foggy. A fresh start. Chapter one. A new plant was added. How do I open that thing? Um, Press Y. Okay, we got it. Gotta press Y. Fresh start. I want to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory, but I'll need to research it, its temperature requirements first. Okay. So, windmill wart. Um, we gotta get rid of all this, uh, this fog in here. Let's see, this must be it. Collect seeds. Alright. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. We got a seed. Potting instructions. Place pot on saucer, add soil to pot, plants a seed, and water the seed. Easy enough. Seed inventory. Okay, we got the pot. It's already placed on it. We gotta get the soil. Plant the seed. And water that bad boy up. Oh yeah. There we go. Windmill wart. So now what? Just wait for it to grow. I pick no, I don't want to pick it up. Put it back. There it goes. Alright, I guess we're just gonna wait on that one. And what's this? Oh, the temperature. Will it move? Okay, we got it in Celsius. Maybe we gotta go this way. I'm seeing if the plant is going to make any movement. Ooh, maybe we don't want to get that. Okay. Let's hold on for a second. Let's go do some more research. Ah. Oh. Newspaper. Somerset Gazette, 19th of September, 1890. Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. I can barely see. Horse bus driver refuses to work in these conditions. Okay. So maybe I gotta grow the plants to fix the area. Postcard from Marianne. Let's see what it says. To Lady Arabella Green, Botany Manor. Who in England? Okay, dearest Arabella. On my hike, I came across the windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals told me the flower bud has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend in Pierre, Marianne. Okay, but it's not telling me the temperature. Open. 
important clues get added to the herbarium or herbarium uh, where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help you organize and validate your research. Oh, I can add a clue? Postcard. Nice. Yeah, so we need a temperature requirement, but I'm trying to figure that out. Or maybe we just gotta guess. Let's see what this says. Oh, ideal soil temperatures. Here's something. It said in uh, Spain, Portugal, France, Greece, Sicily. So we're looking at Sicily. 30 degrees. What kind of flower is that? Let's see. Oh, here we go. Windmill wards. It's a volcanic flower. So it's a volcanic flower, so we need a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. Let's put that in the thing for clues. Look at that. This is pretty cool. Okay, let's get that 60 degrees Celsius. All the way up. Boom. Alright, windmill wart. We got your temperature. I think we just wait. That's 60. Volcanic flower. Yeah, 60C. What about over here? Okay, we can't go through there yet. Let's see what else we do here. Water the seed. Maybe we water again? No, nope, won't let us. Can I put it over here somewhere? Ah, here we go. Open heat vent. Ah, there it goes. So that should warm the place up. Oh, okay, okay. We gotta grab this, and we gotta take this over to the heat vent. And now we gotta warm it up. 60 C. There you go. Look at it go. Nice. Wow, that's very cool. Oh, look. Nice. Achievement unlocked. Windmill wart. Grow the windmill wart. We did it. The windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The bud contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. But we got no smog in this conservatory no more. Yeah. All right. Next area. Okay, so it's like a puzzle game, but with uh, flowers. It's really cool, though. Is there any running? I don't think there's any... Oh, yep, yeah, there is. Oh, I can take a seat. Let's just... Oh, achievement. Take a break. Sit down on a seat. Yeah, let's just enjoy the look of nature here. Yeah. The art style is pretty cool, too. Drawings from nature. Can we open it? No. What else we got around here? Make sure we look at everything. We got some mushrooms. It's a nice place. Oh, pretty. Okay, let's go through this area. See what we got next. It's like a mushroom statue. Man, they got like a freaking castle. It's a nice place. You gotta have a lot of money to have all this. Okay, so there's an entrance to a castle, and we got this over here. I want to check out the castle first. I guess it's a gatehouse. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, a we got a key. Entrance garden. Okay. Got a post box. I am currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell, Arabella. Oh, I called it. Ring the bell. So please all leave deliveries in the gatehouse. Home of the Green family. 
Okay, let's ring the bell. I don't think we got any deliveries ready, but... Okay, no, th uh, they would bring deliveries to the gatehouse and then ring it. Okay, that's cool. Alright. I was right, though. It was a gatehouse. Called it. Let's go through this one. I got the key for it. Well, I guess good thing I went there first. Look at that house. My goodness. And a whole freaking castle, man. Oh, wow. Okay. Take another break. There we go. Nice little view. Is that an egg up there? It's a furry egg. What is that thing? Just a plant. Oh, we got stuff here. Got a cane. A walking stick. Let's read this. Letter from Eleanor. Clover Gardens, April 1889. My dear friend, good luck on your travels. I would have loved to join you like in your younger days, but your tells about the trip will suffice when we meet next. I will never forget the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you can take the authority of others, whereas in botany, as in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not see for ourselves. Well, now you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I'm inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend always, Eleanor. Eleanor, my friend, sent me a message. Alright, let's uh, head towards the manor. These things are cool, though. Like purple egg plants. Anything over here? I like to search everything, okay? I, whoa, what's that? There's stuff down there. I can see through the floor. I got them botany eyes. Okay, apparently they rudely blocked the way with a table. Alright, we're not going that way. Let's go into the building. I'm sure it'll take us back out here later if we need to. Ooh, we got another plant coming? Okay, we got that seed, but we need some other ones, I guess. Let's see what we got. Ooh, another chair. I guess it just wants us to sit around and enjoy the scenery. Let's see what this says. Hopgood Household, 1890. My dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you in the bustling city, working on your ambitions, both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed, and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. I never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade around such endeavors. I look forward to hearing about your progress, and of course let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. I find that we gotta read uh, these because they're gonna be clues in some of them. Oh, look at that. It's a white duck. I got an achievement for it. Quack, quack. Inspect the duck. Okay, we gotta go look around for everything. Oh, door open. Wow. Chapter 2. New pla Two new plants added. Okay, we got the chapter 1 done. I came across the Fulguria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth and requirements. Look at all those clues. Seed packet location grand staircase. And then we got the ash bloom. And this might be a tough case to crack. Seed packet rose garden. Okay, let's find the first one. Oh, there it is right there. Black seeds. Fulgaria. Okay, we gotta learn all about the Fulgaria. What do we got here? A blurry photograph. Camera experiment 1. 1890 I purchased the new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. The picture looks a little blurry, though. I'll have to investigate the camera setting. Okay. And that's a darker one, so apparently they keep messing with it. The picture is so dark, impossible to see the flower. I can't believe how quickly I've run out of the incredible expensive flash powder. And then this is the good one. Look at that. Well-lit photograph. I'm very pleased with the picture. Looks like I'm getting the hang of the new camera. 
Nice. Okay, we got a door there. Arabella's parents. What do we got over here? Nothing. So that looked like it was a picture of the flower, but didn't look like a clue. Train ticket. Great Western Railway. Taunton to London Paddington. Issue the return journey. First class. Elderly discount applied. Okay. That old lady discount. That's a nice fireplace. What is this thing? Like a whole tree growing in here. It's like it might... Okay, I don't know if it's blocking the way. Let's see what this says. From... A oh, letter from genealogists. Oh, they're talking about the family tree. Lady Arabella Green, I am pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete. As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation. Now displaying the maidens, maiden names of the ladies in your family, rather than their current names acquired through marriage. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain at your service. Yours, Robert Hinchley, genealogist. And that must be the family tree. Cool. Okay. We'll look back on that if there's a need. Is there any of those names that match it? We see Green, Hopgood, Goodfellow, Williamson, Pendleton, Deal. And Gilly. Okay. I don't think I see anything about the plant. We gotta make sure we sit in all the chairs. Gotta take the breaks and all the one. Look at that. Man, they got like a huge sunroof up there. Okay. We got a kitchen. Start more. All the year round. Home to breathtaking sights. Town tour. Wistman's Woods. Becky Falls. The Dartmoor line. Oh, that must be a train line. And what do we got here? What was that sound? Sound like we found something. Curiosities of the natural world. Pyrophiles. Fire has the potential to be among the most devastating force of nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invent, wield, and attempt to manage it. Meanwhile, certain species in the plant kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of the fire as well. For example, in areas where forest fires occur frequently, pyrophiles have learned to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. Oh, they're talking about uh, plants and stuff. That probably do better after they burn. Uh, there's, let's, let's see, facts about pyrophiles. Their seeds typically contain tough shells. Some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat. I always found that interesting when there's like a forest fire and then after a while things grow back even better. Alright. I think that's all it shows. That is pretty cool. It's like the destruction of nature brings more life. Like the old famous Jeff Go uh, Goldblum. Life always finds a way. Shake a locked door. Let's try the kitchen. Nope. And the back terrace. Nope. Okay. I don't think we found any, uh, any clues for that other one, so it did say that the other seed was in the Rose Garden. Okay, so the Rose Garden. Let's go and see if we can find that. We got something over there that we haven't checked, but we also have this big area. So let's go check over here. See if we can find what we're looking for. Oh, another, got another chair. Sitting it. Yeah, that's a nice view right there. Oh, wow, look at that. That's cool. We got like a vase. It's a very pretty place. Oh, more chairs to sit in. And sit in. If there's a chair, I'm taking a break. It's a pretty cool fountain. This goes all the way down. Okay. Take a little little fountain bath. Take a shower. Let's see if this gate opens over here. Wait, do we get a map? It did show maps, didn't it? In the beginning? Index. Wow, it goes all the way back. Maps. 
Okay. We're in the main area. So we came from the conservatory, which was one. We got the driveway at two. Three is the entrance garden. Four, we're in the long hedgerow right now. Five is the orchard. Um, Rose garden is seven. We gotta get around somehow or in the back. Okay. Let's see if we can go to number five real quick. I think we searched the hedge already. We gotta go over here. I swear those things look like purple eggs. Okay, we got the orchard. Is it locked? Yes, it is. Okay. We're at an impasse. We must find... a key. Oh, we did have uh, stairs here we didn't go in. And we also got this. Okay. Whoa. A little laboratory? Ah, chemical disposal. Let's put that back. Sulfur, potassium, magnesium, phosphor, sodium, titanium, zinc, and barium. Can't see myself in the mirror. The art of painting in oil and fresco. Take a seat. Yeah, just, just take a seat. Go over here. Ooh, look at that. This place is awesome. I actually like the wallpaper. Uh, let's see, the rose garden I think is out there. Oh, another seat. Yeah. Let's see what this says. Folklore book. Botanical folk... Tales. Some ancient Celtic tribes practiced a coming-of-age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved picking a flower in the woods. Though not just any flower, of course, the gatherer had to find a Bulgaria, because these flowers are known to only bloom during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of, of you was considered to be the ultimate proof of courage. Okay, so that's that flower. That's the flower we were looking at, right? Index. And yeah, Fulgaria. Folklore book. I think that's one of them. Go keep looking around. Still haven't gone upstairs too. Oh, look at that. You know, the thing that always gets me when people have big manors or mansions like this, they never have good, like, game rooms or anything like that. It's either, like, arc- not, like, not arcade, but, like, maybe, like, pool tables and all that kind of stuff. It's like people have such big houses, but no time to really spend in them. Arabella Elizabeth. That's it. Uh, her and her sister. I feel like if I'm gonna have a house like this, I'm just gonna stay in the place forever. Play harpsichord. Noise. Piano woman. Play the harpsichord. Oh, we got a key. Back terrace. Okay. It's one door we can open. What's that? Flash powder. Oh, we're gonna need that. It's empty. We might have to make it. Oh, look at that. There it is. Highly combustible. Bottle contains 75 grams of flash powder. Chemical composition, potassium and magnesium, a 2 to 1 ratio. So we want 2 potassium, 1 magnesium. Make flash powder. Okay. Let's see what this says. Lady Arabella, these past weeks I have been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely, as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this. And if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flash to a minimum. Farmer Charles. Okay, so we gotta make flash powder in order to get that plant to grow. Oh. I see. So we'll make the flash powder, put it here, get the camera ready, and we'll put the plant here, and then flash. Look at that. Very cool. 
Okay. Figuring it out. Let's sit in the chair. It's a cozy place. Let's try this one out. I feel like I'm in one of those uh, furniture stores where you gotta try out all the seats. See which one's the best. No, that one's bad. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's a good one. Okay. Oh, got some glasses. Spectacles. Your new Lumen Photograph Flash Lamp. Okay. Fill the container with flash powder. Close the container. Press the button connected to the camera and the Lumen Flash Lamp and witness the bright flash. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Is that part of the clues, I wonder? Let's see. Flash powder bottle, probably. And letter... F no, not letter from a farmer. Flash manual. Because clearly that plant needs to be flashed by the light. So I have the seed, but we also got to make it here. So it was potassium and magnesium, if I remember right. Let's double check. Flash powder bottle. Can I read it? Nope. Okay. Um, let's try it out. One potassium, two potassium, magnesium. And... Is that it? What else would I would do with that? Let's do the dispose the chemicals. Okay, maybe I can put it over there to the camera. Let's see if it flashes. Boom. Take picture. Did it, did it work? <laughs> I don't know. Let's put that there real quick. Oh, there we go. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it works. Okay, let's go make some more. Before that happens. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. That shouldn't get anything now. Did it put it back to black? It does. Okay. Let's go fill that up again. This game's cool. I am enjoying it so far. Alright. Two potassium. One magnesium. Let's go put it in there. And we'll save it until it's time to get that plant over here. Like that. Okay. And then let's go put this vial back. Or flask. And then we got to go over here to the potting. So we got the seed. We need some soil. Plant the fulgara. Get some water on it. There we go. And let's take it over to the camera. It's going to get that Instagram on it. I have to give it that selfie. There we go. Let's see if this is all we need. Boom. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Didn't even get all the clues. Nailed it. Grow the Fulgaria. The Fulgaria only grows during thunderstorms where the flashes of light provide the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. Until now. Okay. So I grew that one. Now we gotta get to the Rose Garden, but I also wanna see if we can find those other clues. Apparently, I went through all of them already. Then again, the farmer one might be one. Letter from a farmer. And a flash powder bottle. Oh, we got two of the flash lamp manuals. Okay, so you can do two of them. Let's see if we can find something else. The art of painting. Maybe the... Oh, the picture, probably. Photographs. There we go. Got it. Making progress. Let's go upstairs real quick. See what we got up here. Oh, another chair. I told you, man. I'm sitting on every one of these things. 
Oh, look at that. We got a lock. Library hall. Okay, we gotta figure that out. Up oh, we're upstairs. Got a fish painting. Oh, and this is blocked off. We're gonna have to get rid of the tree somehow. Hey everyone, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. On the bottom of the screen, if you like, comment, share, subscribe, you can support the channel. Also, check out the videos above. That'll take you to more content from Valhalla Gaming TV. Thanks again. Later.